Welcome to Quick Shot, the video game fact show for you to watch whilst you wait for your hot wings to arrive. Oh yes, Hooters. Just hearing the name of the franchise is enough to put images in your head whether you've been to one of their restaurants or not. Think plates of hot wings, jugs of light beer streaming from the bar or brought to your table by the so-called Hooters girls. That's their name for the army of young waitresses all wearing uniforms that are so tight they almost look like they are painted on at the beginning of every shift. So basically, the American dream. Do you know why our beer is so cold here at Hooter? Because we keep it in the refrigerator. Tell your mom you want to go to Hooters. The Hooters brand itself is an anachronism in many ways, so it seems appropriate that the game Hooters Road Trip felt dramatically behind the times as well. To be fair, the game's concept is actually not too bad. You play as the anonymous main character on a trip across America, eating at all of the Hooters restaurants along the way. This is the story of a true American hero. Ok, so it's not exactly a complicated game, but the bones are here for something that is at least playable. It's almost like they wanted to do an updated licensed version of OutRun. <laughs> Sorry guys, I felt so dirty even mentioning Sega's classic in this video. They may have been aiming for the beautiful journey, but they ended up closer to a sad drunk stumbling through a back alley at midday. Absolutely everything about Hooters Road Trip feels completely underbaked. The game features seven tracks taking you across America, each ending at the respective hooters for the area as you make your way through the countryside. You are racing against other Patreons, who knows why, maybe the restaurant is running out of burgers or something. Anyway, it's not really a concern as the game is fairly easy. Most of the routes are designed to be like American roads and highways, meaning they are basically straight lines most of the time. If you have dreams of power sliding around tight corners during the road trip, best to adjust your expectations before playing this game. Given how awful the controls are, this is probably a good thing anyway. Cars tend to slide all over the road, making precision driving absolutely impossible. You do unlock new cars that feature ever so slightly better handling, but you can't actually use them to progress until you complete a trial first. It's like a terrible version of the license mode in the Gran Turismo games. To be honest, the general gameplay is so tedious that it's likely you will probably just want to avoid having to spend extra time completing the trials and you'll just power through with the starter vehicle as a result. The game is a mess visually. Car models are extremely basic, including those driven by the player. Don't expect any flair here. These cars are all slabs of poorly textured metal with little to separate one from another. The surrounds are also fairly boring with few distinguishing features between the various tracks. Everything tends to blend into one, broken up only by the FMVs at the end of each track. Welcome to the Live Star State. In case you didn't notice, everything here is just plain bigger. <sighs> Ah yes, the FMVs, the obvious reason for this game's existence. Your reward for slogging your way through each mundane race is a video with the local Hooters girl. Congratulating you, these FMVs are treated by the game as being salacious and sexy, but they come off more like a hostage situation in reality. Come on, this way to the test track. The girls sound stilted and pose awkwardly, clearly uncomfortable with the entire setup. It's also incredibly tame these days, kids see worse from dancing cheerleaders at high school events. If you were expecting another BMX XXX, then you are out of luck. A pretty girl smiling at you through a camera lens was not enough to carry the game back then and it certainly isn't now. As strange a curiosity as this game is, it also carries a weird sadness to it. What was clearly intended to be a rock and roll road trip through the USA ends up feeling more like the last gasp of a sad old man desperately pretending the attention he gets from the girls at the bar are because of his looks. Not because he's a paying customer, Hooters makes you happy indeed. Congratulations, you made it all! 